who else wishes that kissing actually burned 6.4 calories a minute because like why would i ever go to the gym i could have a six pack and never have to get sweaty again although granted i do enjoy working out you guys know that like i love fitness but like come on if kissing was an option to get like a six pack yeah <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a perfume review. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I just I haven't felt inspired by perfume. And also, if you don't know, I did move. I think I filmed one perfume review since moving into this house, but then I kind of decided that I wanted to put my money into like pillows and furniture for my new home over perfumes. But here we are, I've got a whole bunch of perfume reviews on their way to you guys. Also, if you are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Julie. I do a whole bunch of different kinds of videos on this channel from perfume reviews to fitness, lifestyle, vlogs, all of it. So you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Let's just get right on into this review. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Kissing by Killian. I was instantly drawn into this collection by Killian with their really kind of funny names they've got going on. This one's short name is Kissing, but then right here on the box, it says Kissing burns 6.4 calories a minute, wanna work out? And I just, I love the puns, they're so great. When else can you experience something so sweet and burn calories all at the same time? Kissing is a luscious remix of floral and gourmand notes. Just like a great kiss, as the perfume evolves, the emotions become more intense. This is a quote from Killian himself. So this is what the box looks like. It is this really nice, sleek matte black with gold and like this bright lipstick red for the name of the perfume. I did purchase the one fluid ounce size of the Eau de Parfum. I'm pretty sure that the only difference in packaging between the one fluid ounce and the 3.4 fluid ounce is just size. There's no like difference in the bottles. When you open up the box, this is what the bottle of perfume looks like inside. The shape is reminiscent of a bomb of seduction and it is inspired by contemporary art. It's such a ooh. I dropped something. It is I'm gonna drop it again. <laughs> it is such a bold little piece to have sitting on your dresser and it is so unique in the fact you have to turn it upside down to take off the top to spray it. I mean most perfumes usually the top is you know on the top. I love how the Kissing burn 6.4 calories a minute, wanna work out, is printed along the entire lid of the perfume. It's just such a standout and bold little perfume bottle. And Kissing is part of the My Kind of Love collection, which just launched this August 2018. It is a collection for young lovers, consisting of a few different fragrances that are flirty and fun, and definitely in the more affordable range for fragrances by Killian. I personally don't delve much into the like super designer, crazy expensive fragrances, although there are some that I'm like really interested in. But this is Killian's first venture into a fragrance that can be sold somewhere like Sephora and be slightly more attainable for the regular consumer. One other thing that is written on the box right here are the notes in the fragrance and this perfume is super simple in its composition of notes. It is just lily of the valley, hot milk, and sugar candy, which sounds so ridiculously simple, but this fragrance is so unique. Upon first spray, you definitely get blasted by the white florals from the lily of the valley. It almost smells like you're holding a fresh picked bouquet of those little white flowers. It starts to dry down within about an hour, and it smooths out into this milky, creamy, sweet scent and it feels like it's wrapping you up in its sweetness. You get enveloped in the rich and sugary vanilla scent. The florals do stay throughout, but it is very subdued and in the background because it definitely becomes way more of a gourmand as you wear it. It honestly like kind of reminds me of the smell of the leftover milk after you've had a bowl of Lucky Charms, you know, like those like sweet little marshmallows, they kind of like make the milk smell sweet. Yeah, that's kind of what this fragrance reminds me of, but more mature than a kid's cereal. This comforting scent has a pretty decent longevity. It lasts on my skin for at least eight hours of wear, which is plenty of time. And as for the sillage, this one is a kind of 
pull me close to smell me kind of fragrance. You will smell how delicious you are and you're gonna wanna bring your lover or your date in for a whiff too. Maybe move on to a little bit of that workout. And as it is such a warm and cozy scent, most would probably consider this to be a fall and winter type of fragrance. Adding another layer of warmth on top of being bundled up with sweaters and scarves as you're about to head out on a date on a Saturday night or ready to burn some calories. So the one fluid ounce size of this fragrance retails for $75 and the 3.4 fluid ounce is $135. If you guys are interested in checking out Kissing by Killian for yourselves, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box down below. I do make a small commission if you shop through my link and I really do appreciate anybody who chooses to shop through my link because more commissions means I get to buy more perfumes and I get to do more reviews for you guys so everybody wins. So thank you guys so much for watching this review video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. Comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing any of the other By Killian fragrances. I'm not so sure if any of the other ones are really gonna be up my alley, but if you think that I might like one of the other ones from this collection, do let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to heal with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!